Hey, my name's Clyde Evans. I'm station manager responsible for road safety with Hampshire Fire and Rescue Service. Hampshire Fire and Rescue Service serves the county of Hampshire, including Portsmouth and Southampton. And we have uh, over 50 fire stations dotted around the county carrying out prevention, protection and response activities. Uh, I first came in contact with Brockner's College when the fire service really started out uh, being involved in road safety and it was a fortunate timing in that they'd had uh, a number of incidents that they wanted some help on. We were getting started into the, the realm of road safety and that connection was made. From there we have over the past five years developed a road safety educational, well it started out as a day, it has now become a week, uh, a week long activity for students and staff raising their awareness of road safety and the work of the various road safety partnerships whether it's the police, the ambulance, the local authorities. Being nominated by Brockmass College for this award was a surprise um, and honoured really to, to be put forward for it. The work I do, I, I don't do it for any recognition or reward. For me, um, it's about making life safer. I'm uh, Jeff Everett and I'm uh, Implementation Manager for Travis Perkins. Uh, I've been with Travis Perkins for 22 years at the end of this year and Travis Perkins are one of the largest builders merchants in the country. Yeah, I first came into contact with Brockenhurst College through Jackie Maguire probably six or seven years ago and uh, our first contact was with Vocfest, a vocational festival that they uh, allow uh, employers to come along and present their case to the students and we thought what would be good as well would be to bring along some equipment so they could actually have a hands-on feel of the kind of thing that we do. And from there that led to uh, further Vokfests. We, we managed to take some mechanical equipment, diggers and, and dumper trucks. And then we went on to employer um, work days where they, the students are given set tasks to do and we've, we've contributed to that by um, offering them advice and guidance. And we've also worked with uh, Jackie's team, training them as well. And our, our next project coming up will be uh, having work placements from there at various departments and various brands within our organisation uh, to give them an opportunity to find out what the world of work is really like. Um, I feel quite humble about being uh, 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 you know, recommended for an award. Uh, I believe I have helped, but I believe there are other people out there who have helped at, at least as much as I have, but don't get recognised. So. Uh, it is nice to be nominated and I'm, I'm you know, grateful to be nominated but I don't feel as if uh, I'm that special. My name is Michael Macario, I'm a chartered accountant and although I'm 72 years of age I am still working. Twelve years ago I was asked if I would be, like to become a governor at Ringwood School. We, f we found that year 12 students, um, after they'd done their ASs, tended not to come back into school <laughs> that frequently, but of course they're only halfway through their sixth form. So we came up with a, an idea of how to keep students in school, and this is based on uh, the television program The Apprentice, and uh, they are given basically two weeks in which to come up with a product, sell those products within school um, and see how much profit they can make. They come into what I call my boardroom because I act as what now Lord Sugar and so they come into my boardroom, explain what they've done, I, I interview them, yes I do fire them if they haven't taken part. From, from that the, we choose a winning team and uh, also the apprentice and the apprentice then becomes the head of business studies, the student uh, ambassador for uh, business studies in year 13.